A soggy Citizens Bank Park leading to the postponement of tonight's World Series Game 3. The Phillies will have to wait another day to try and take the lead in the Fall Classic. It is Monday night. I'm Gray Hall. Shari Williams will join us in just a moment. The big story on Action News is the World Series Game 3 called off for tonight. This has huge implications on the schedule for the games and for all the fans who showed up to Citizens Bank Park tonight. Action News anchor Shari Williams live at the ballpark tonight there in South Philadelphia. Shari, this uh, <laughs> was no news that anyone wanted to hear tonight with all that rain. It's definitely disappointing, Gray. It is just wet and rainy out here and it, it's still been the case from the moment this all started happening in the six o'clock hour until now uh, we were in Houston of course covering this Phillies team we could not wait to come home to put this city put Philadelphia on display and to feel the love from these hometown fans well we're gonna have to put that off just a little bit longer because mother nature uh, she threw a curveball that no one could dodge the atmosphere was buzzing with Phillies pride <laughs> Thousands making their way to the bank, hoping the Phils could cash in on a win at home. That's why we get all these, look, hats. We got all the shirts for my family, but we won the one to say we win the World Series. That's what we want. There was enthusiasm from the streets of South Philly to the seats in the ballpark. Even Philadelphia's celebrities were in attendance and ready to go. What's your prediction then for tonight? A uh, big one tonight, a lot of energy tonight, a lot of surprises tonight. Uh, a lot of support from Philadelphia and hopefully a super great game from all Phillies players tonight. The energy been well, so I think we're going to be great tonight. But then everything changed. The sky opened up, forcing the diamond to be covered up. The rain falling continuously when Major League Baseball decided it was best to postpone game three until Tuesday. Pretty solid forecast that we have another heavier band coming um, that's going to persist into the early morning. Um, and, you know, for me, the risk of playing less than a complete game just not worth it. Fans quickly reacted with boos and dismay. Very disappointed. Yeah, very disappointed. We had a hotel room and now uh, got to try to rebuild yeah, the hotel room. We are so excited I feel to sorry be here. for the people that, are, that flew in and had airline tickets, too. I came in from California to watch the game, but I was able to change my flight. I'm staying here for tomorrow. Rain or shine, these fans say they'll be back whenever the game goes on. Hey, I can't complain. I still had a good time up here. There's still great fans up here. Let's go, Philly! Yeah, that's still the word. Let's go Phillies, because that's how we feel about it. Tonight, our World Series coverage, it continues right now with Bob Brooks. He, too, is live down here in South Philadelphia. Uh, Bob, you were right there as fans were heading out of the stadium. Disappointed, but they are still optimistic. Yeah, Shari, absolutely. A bit of a bummer, only because there was such a major buildup for Game 3 of this World Series, especially where I'm standing right now outside Citizens Bank Park. There is a huge block party that goes on before each and every game. But, Shari, like you said, fans are optimistic. Game 3 is tomorrow, and fans predict a win. For us, it was the Philadelphia PD who broke the news. And then the fans came disappointedly walking out of the bank. The initial reaction. Tonight, it hurts. It hurts for the fans that travel and they got to go home. And for some, it's created a logistical nightmare. I took a six hour bus today to get here. Got up at four o'clock in the morning to come here. A little sad. What a shame this was. The energy before the game was something special. The tailgates were in full swing. Some serious memories were being made. This is my hubs. We brought him. He passed away last month. Here he is. The block party just outside of the stadium was rocking. And fans thought this kind of weather could have given the Phillies an edge. I think the weather's even better for the Phillies than the Astros here because we have an open dome and we're used to playing in the elements, and we got it. But it wasn't meant to be tonight. However, there's nothing but optimism circulating around Phillies Nation. Look at our weight. There was a rain delay for that game five, and they still won. They believe the Phillies, the fans, and the city will easily regroup for tomorrow and win. I think they can come back tomorrow, and uh, they'll still be in the group. Go Phillies! Tomorrow, man. Yeah? Yeah, man. Tomorrow. We win tomorrow. We don't win tonight. Actually, we won the night already. Oh. I'm Got to hang out. Phillies! 
Okay, Shari, I don't know about you, but here's how I'm looking at things. Everything just gets pushed back one day. That means we get the World Series in Philadelphia for an extra day, and I think that in and of itself is a win as well. For now, reporting live outside the ballpark, Bob Brooks for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Shari. Yeah, we'll take all the wins we can get. Of course, we like for them to be on the actual diamond, but we'll take it. All right, Bob, thank you.